Hello, this lesson is called KLI are going to buy Mimosa. In this lesson, we are going to study the use of be going to to talk about the future. When do we use be going to? We use it to talk about future plans and intentions. See the examples? They are going to open the new branch in two weeks. That's our plan. I am going to work freelance. That's my intention. That's what I've decided to do. This table shows you how we form be going to. Basically, we need a subject. Verb be. Am, is, are in positive or negative. Going to and a verb. Read the chart carefully and see how exactly we form positive sentences, negative sentences in full and short form, as well as questions. Okay, let's exercise a bit on future plans and intentions. Complete the conversation between Alexandra and Melanie with the verbs in the box and go into. Read carefully. You have two minutes to do it. Make a pause if you need more time. Check your answers, please. Let's read, listen and repeat. I've heard they are going to replace the GLX. But I worked on that model. Do you think we are going to lose our jobs? I don't know. Well, I'm not going to wait. I'm going to look for a new job. Hold on, Melanie. We don't know the details yet. Maybe KLI are going to develop new designs. Yes, but maybe not. And I... Uh, now let's do one more exercise. During an interview, the journalist Ray Baxter asked KLI's public relations firm some questions about its plans. Use the words below and go into to write his questions. You have five minutes to do this exercise. Make a pause if you need more time. Check your answers. These are the correct questions for the interview. Number one. Is Mr. Chu going to live in Italy? Repeat. Is Mr. Chu going to live in Italy? Number two, are or is KL Industries going to use Malaysian designers? Repeat, are or is KL Industries going to use Malaysian designers? Three, why is KL industry is going to replace the GLX. Repeat. Why is KL Industries going to replace the GLX? Four. Is Mr. Chi going to learn Italian? Repeat. Is Mr. Chu going to learn Italian? Number five. What new models is Mr. Chu going to develop? Repeat, please. What new models is Mr. Chu going to develop? Right. So, it's time for exercise three. You are going to make these sentences complete. Use going to and the verb in brackets to make complete positive, negative, and interrogative sentences. Number one is an example for you. It's a question. Are you going to attend the conference? You have five minutes to complete this exercise. 
make a pause if you need more time. Okay, now let's check your answers. Number one, are you going to attend the conference? Repeat after me. Are you going to attend the conference? Number two, Tom is not going to be the new manager. Repeat please, Tom is not going to be the new manager. Number three, I am going to interview new applicants. Repeat, I am going to interview new applicants. Number four, is Helen going to catch the plane? Repeat, is Helen going to catch the plane? Number five, who is going to attend the meeting with me? Repeat, who is going to attend the meeting with me? Number six, Jim and Tina are not going to travel this week. Repeat, Jim and Tina are not going to travel this week. Number seven, Sam is going to take a holiday. Repeat, Sam is going to take a holiday. Number eight, what time are you going to phone me? Repeat please, what time are you going to phone me? Number nine, where are we going to eat tonight? Repeat, where are we going to eat tonight? Number 10, I am going to give him the report on Friday. Repeat, I am going to give him the report on Friday. Now you'll do exercise three. Here you are sentences about plans for the future. Rewrite them using be going to. Both sentences must have the same meaning. Look at the example in number one. Joe plans to apply for a new job next year. The new sentence is, Joe is going to apply for a new job next year. Are you ready? Okay, now you have eight minutes to do this exercise. Make a pause if you need more time. So, let's check your answers. We'll check sentences A to E here. Then, we'll check the rest of the sentences. Letter A. Joe plans to apply for a new job next year. So, you say, Joe is going to apply for a new job next year. Repeat after me. Joe is going to apply for a new job next year. Letter B. We don't plan to play tennis this weekend. You say, we are not going to play tennis this weekend. Repeat, please. We are not going to play tennis this weekend. Letter C. Does Nick plan to attend the meeting? You say, is Nick going to attend the meeting? 
Repeat. Is Nick going to attend the meeting? Letter D. What are your plans for next summer? You say, what are you going to do next summer? Repeat. What are you going to do next summer? Letter D. Do you plan to work hard this year? You say, are you going to work hard this year? Repeat. Are you going to work hard this year? Now let's check the last sentences. Let's see. Letter F. I don't intend to get a new job. You say, I'm not going to get a new job. Repeat. I'm not going to get a new job. Letter G. The forecast for tomorrow is rain. You say, it's going to rain tomorrow. Repeat. It's going to rain tomorrow. Letter H. Do Pat and Mike plan to talk to the manager today? You say, are Pat and Mike going to talk to the manager today? Repeat. Are Pat and Mike going to talk to the manager today? Letter I. I think it's about to rain. You say, it's going to rain. Repeat. It's going to rain. In conclusion, number one, we use be going to to talk about plans and intentions. Number two, we form sentences with a subject, verb be, am, is, are in positive or negative forms, going to, and the verb.